Hey guys, it's Spy Cat, and I'm going to finish off my DVD collection about my sports movies. You guys saw my last video where I showed you my big pile of movies about boxing movies, a couple of wrestling movies in there. You guys saw the video before that about my big, bigger pile of movies about my baseball collection of movies, family, comedy, drama. That was a great collection. Forgot to mention that I had The Fan, great movie with Robert De Niro, Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes plays a San Francisco baseball player. Robert De Niro plays the guys who's totally obsessed with Wesley Snipes. It was in my thriller section of movies, and I totally forgot it, but a great baseball movie. But now we're going to get on to the rest of my sports collection. Basketball, um, hockey, football movies, running movies, bicycling movies. The rest of my sports collection. Most of it's drama. So let's get started. We'll start off with my basketball movies. First movie I have, guys, Our Winning Season. This movie came out in 1976, I believe. Um, it has uh, Dennis Quaid. One of his very first movies was this movie. Um, great movie. Kind of a dramatic type of movie, a drama movie. But still a good movie with uh, Dennis Quaid. I love Dennis Quaid. I collect all his movies. Um, next movie I have, guys, is The Basket. I don't really remember much about this movie. It's kind of a kid's movie about uh, playing basketball, rated PG. This movie came out in 1999. Haven't watched this yet. I got it for cheap. It's a good movie, though, about basketball. <laughs> next movie I have, guys, is... Um, the Championship Season with uh, Gary Sinise. Uh, he's in this movie, the guy that was in Forrest Gump and all that. Um, another drama movie. Haven't watched this movie yet, but I remember it's a, another 90s movie about basketball. Good movie, though. Next movie I have, guys, is Rebound. This movie is um, Don Cheadle's in this movie. Um, I think that's how you say his name. But a, a great movie. This was an HBO movie that came out. Really good basketball movie, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's out of print, too. So that's a good one. Rebound. The baseball movies, I watched more of those, most of those movies than I did these movies. But I just got them because they were cheap. And I like having a good sports collection of movies. Um, this movie, I got a Goodwill for a dollar. Hoosiers, uh, one of Gene Hackman's very first movies. Great movie, by the way. I saw this when I was in school. This came out in 1986. Great movie, though. Hoosiers. Next movie I have, two more basketball movies, but one's a child's movie, a family movie, and the other one is a comedy family movie, I guess. Both of them are comedy family movies. First movie I have, guys, is uh, Space Jam with Michael Jordan and all of the Looney Tunes bunch. <laughs> um... Great movie. Saw this in the theater twice when I was a kid. One of the greatest movies of all time. Um, it's still in the package. I haven't opened it. I think I got it at Best Buy on Black Friday. Something like that for like three bucks. Um, Slam Dunk Ernest. Ernest playing basketball. This this was uh, the last Touchstone uh, Pictures movie that Ernest did was um, Slam Dunk Ernest. I'm a huge fan of Ernest. Collect all his movies. Every Jim Varney movie I have to have in my collection. Can't believe I gave up fast food, though. I need to buy that one back, and I need to buy um, the Roosters movie back. And then I'll have every Jim Varney movie there possibly was. And I still need Ernest Rides Again. That movie goes for a lot of money. But uh, Ernest, Slam Dunk Ernest, great movie. He plays a janitor. He's clumsy as ever. Um, great movie. Akeem Olajuwon is in this movie. That basketball player dude. Great movie. Gotta have this movie in the basketball collection. Um, next move, pile of movies I have is football movies, guys. Here we go. Radio. Cuba Gooden Jr. plays the uh, mentally challenged guy that um, gets to be one of... gets to play uh, football at this college and stuff. So... Uh, Great movie. Great movie. I love that football movie. That's a great football movie. And um, I also got a uh, big fan. This movie is about a guy who's a big football fan. He's kind of a loser. And um, I think he finally meets the player that he wants to meet. And he finds out that the player he wants to meet played by Ludacris, I think. 
is um, just an asshole. And he, um, you'll have to see what happens. But he meets him in a bathroom and it goes down in the bathroom. He finds out that the fan, that the player that he was a fan of so much is a big asshole. That's who Ludacris plays. And uh, it goes down in the bathroom. <laughs> just put it like that. Great movie though. Express, the Ernie Davis story. Um, great football movie. Kind of more of a kid's feel. Rated PG. Great movie. Another one with Dennis Quaid. Great movie. I got The Program with James Caan. Uh, this movie came out in the 90s. Great football movie. Um, I like this movie. It's a good movie. I don't remember much of it, but uh, it's a great movie. Rudy. Best fucking football ma movie of all time. One of my favorite movies of all time. Shan Sean Ashton, one of his best movie roles of all time. Um, Rudy is just a great movie about a guy who's really short. He's kind of like the run of the bunch and he makes it to play um, football and be one of the... He makes it to Notre Dame to play on the Notre Dame game I think one game in his whole life and it just makes his whole life and career and all that shit. Or, you guys know what I'm freaking saying. Rudy, best movie of all time. If you guys want a football movie, this is number one football movie ever. Rudy. I love Rudy. Next movie I have, guys, is the one soccer movie that I have. Um, Green Street Hooligans. Um, Elijah Wood does a superb part in this movie. One of my favorite movies of all time. Green Street Hooligans. Um, just a bunch of troublemaking soccer fans. Um, I think they're in... Uh, what are they in? I think they're in Ireland, maybe, or some shit like that. But, um... Great movie. Real violent movie. It's a hardcore rated R soccer movie. So you guys might want to check that one out if you haven't seen it. Um, Young Blood. The next movie I have now is a movie about hockey. The one movie I have about hockey. Um, good movie, Rob Lowe, Patrick Swayze's in this movie, just a great movie, I love this movie, good movie, good, uh, young blood, rated R hockey movie, <laughs> um, next movie I have, guys, is the one golf movie I own, besides Happy Gilmore, I own Happy Gilmore, that should have been in this sports movie thing, but I do have Happy Gilmore, but this movie right here is called A Gentleman's Game, Gary Sinise is in this movie, one of my favorite actors. Um, this movie's just about golf. <laughs> and um, it's got the kid from The Sixth Sense in it and all that shit. So uh, that's a good one. Got a couple biking movies. Um, the Flying Scotsman, great bike riding movie. Not the best one, though. But this is a great movie. I love... There isn't many bike riding movies around about bicycle and racing and shit like that so I have to have this in my collection for biking movies this is the best biking movie that I can think of Prefontaine that I remember um no that's not Prefontaine hold on this is Breaking Away this is a great movie great movie about bicycling um yeah Prefontaine's about running this is about bicycling. So this is the best bicycling movie of all time. Um, Daniel Stern's in this movie. I think... De is Dennis Quaid in this movie? Daniel Stern. Dennis Quaid. Dennis Quaid and Daniel Stern. That's kind of crazy that Dennis Quaid did a couple football movies. He also did another football movie that I can't find that I is in my collection. I couldn't find it. And I also have Any Given Sunday that I couldn't find in my collection. But it's there. Um... Breaking Away, great movie. This actually won a uh, Best Screenplay Academy Award for this movie right here. One of Daniel Stern's first movie, one of Dennis Quaid's first movie. This movie's actually out of print and worth some money, too, and it's part of the family feature collection that I collect. <sighs> okay. Next movie, movies, couple movies that I have is about... Well, no, this is the one running movie that I have. Um, Prefontaine. The best uh, movie ever about running that I could think of. Um, got Al Bundy in there from Married with Children. This movie, I think, is out of print, too. Great 90s movie about uh, running on the track. 
Prefontaine's a freaking movie, guys. Get that shit. Yeah. Couple movies left. One movie about swimming. Swimming upstream. This movie's about a uh, swimmer. Damn it. I forgot another movie that I'm just thinking about right now, guys. Um, it's um, Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken. About the girl, the Disney movie about the girl who, um, you know, rides the horses and the horses jump and shit like that. That should have been in this pile too, but um, I'm not, I can't think of everything, guys. Who cares? <laughs> Next movie I have, guys, is I have two movies on roller skating, ice skating, I guess you could say. I have Atta Prince uh, Roller Boogie with Linda Blair. Haven't watched this movie, but being a collector, it's out of print. I collect all Linda Blair movies. Have to have this one. This one goes for some money, too, because it's out of print. But uh, that's Roller Boogie, Linda Blair. And I have one of my favorite movies when I was a kid. Uh, I don't know why, but my best friend, this was her favorite movie when she was a kid. And it, I kind of liked it, I guess, when I was a kid. It was the only PG movie I could watch back in 92 when I was a kid. So, um... The Cutting Edge, good movie about roller skating, good uh, love story, romantic drama. Um, this movie right here is about horse racing. That's why Wild Hearts sh Can't Be Broken should have been after this movie. But uh, I have it, it's in my collection. Throwing that out there. Um, but this movie right here, Dead Cert, I just bought it, it was like a dollar to old 90. Uh, no, damn, this movie's 1974. Shit. Look like a 90s cover and shit, but it's 1974. Shows what I know. I need to watch this. Um, but have it in my collection of sports movies. Next movie I have, guys, is uh, about uh, 8 Seconds, Bull Riding. I could have also threw the uh, first City Slickers movie because it has the, one of the best scenes about going on a uh, running from bulls and shit at any movie in history. Um, 8 Seconds is, is definitely up there. Actually, this is the best bull riding movie. I'm just saying that it's a good part in the beginning of the City Slickers movie where they're running from the bulls and shit. Um, Eight Seconds, great movie, Luke Perry. Um, I love this movie. Saw it in school. Last movie I have for my the rest of my sports collection movies is um, Aspen Extreme. This is about uh, skiing. Kind of a sports movie. Um, good 90s movie. I like this movie. Whew. But that was it, guys. I'm taking advantage of having the house alone right now. It's like 1 o'clock at night. I'm just making these videos right now while I can uh, be loud in my house and in my room and shit like that. So um, that's the rest of my sports movies. Like always, I'm, this is like the new thing I'm freaking doing. I'm showing my movies that way because I can because I got the camera angled right. Summarize all the movies I got. Football movies there. Basketball movies. Hoosiers, basketball, basketball, basketball. Those are the basketball ones you guys saw. Bull riding, breaking away, great movie, won some Academy Awards. Um, Young Blood hockey movie. Great uh, soccer movie. Violent movie, though. Rated R movie. But that was my sports collection, guys. I'm finally done with my damn sports collections. Next video I'm going to work on is my nature collection for you guys. And that's it. I'm done making videos, guys. Tonight I made um, I made this one, the remaining part of my sports videos. I made my baseball movies tonight, collection tonight. I made my boxing collection tonight. I made my random pickups episode 35 tonight. I went out and about. I did my Goodwill video today. I did my pre-going out showing you guys what I had to sell before I went on my hunt to get Rasputin and Goodwill today. Wow. I'm a stoner, but I made like a lot shitload of videos in one day today. Taking advantage of having the house alone today. So um, that's what I'm doing. I hope you guys keep watching my movie collection and... I'll be doing all kinds of crazy collection shit like this, sports collection, courtroom dramas, I'll do that, just all kind of genres and crap. Stay tuned, like, subscribe to my channel, tell your friends, um, 
I love movies. The movie people must love me because I blow all my money on their movies. So, uh, whew. Movie Collector's Addiction Channel. Spy Cat, your host, Spy Cat. Whew. I got the munchies. I'm going to make something right now. I'm going to make something at like 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to fry up some eggs and make a bagel and some shit and just go to fucking sleep. Have a good one, guys. Hope you enjoyed this cool angle that I got going. And that's my sports movies. See you guys next time.